It's the Rider Knight type from Metarot Duel with the mastery in nullifying long-range combat and stopping the opponents cold in their tracks. It is BBB0 Barbe Blue with the kit of Gatling, Freeze, Shoot Guard, Multi-Legs, and the leg ability of Bloodstain, which buffs base power whenever breaking enemy parts on their turn when attacking. Now, compared to her to his counterpart, which is La Pucelle, uh, the Joan of Arc type, Barbe Blue, on the other hand, takes a more... Uh, somewhat indirect and kind of a mixed approach to how he chooses to uh, maintain his form of combat. Gatling, however, is a standard shooting attack that, that is a scattered AoE, meaning that it damages one part at normal and two other parts at random at one-third total damage. So very solid conventional part all around right from start. Right armor freeze, we've seen it before, we've seen it countless times. Standard ailment attack that will stop the enemy cold in their tracks as a paralyzed ailment, but because it is freeze, it will also guarantee the opponent is susceptible to uh, landing the hit, guaranteed landing the hit, and the hit also being guaranteed to be a critical hit on top of that. So for these reasons, um, Freeze already right from start is a very handy skill right from start. And then of course, Left Arm of Shoot Guard, always a very openly welcome addition um, on any team that is in need of a defender, especially against nullifying long range attacks from say, uh, Death Providence, God Emperor, um, or, or, someone, or anyone that, is in, that uses a high end shooting attack and you need to keep the damage low. However, even with this, Barba Blue's kit is kind of scattered, I guess I can call it. Uh, for lack of a better term, between a shooting attack, a melee attack, and a defense skill on top of, in addition to those two. So even though both of his both of his arms are heavy, if you are able to find a leg that does support, say, for instance, the uh, all-rounder leg ability, he could definitely benefit from this too right from start. Um, but across the board, his stats are honestly really nice too. About 3650 for his head, about 3400 for the arm, about 4700 for that shield on his left arm, about 3600 for his legs too. Honestly, really nice, very tanky, and that nice sweet spot you want to be in where he can tank a hit pretty decently and it not utterly cripple him or knock him out too quickly. Leg stats are honestly pretty nice too. About 1131 melee resist means he's very good at staying up close and personal without it hitting him too hard. Uh, shoot resist of 987 isn't too bad either. Um, he can tank hits from afar relatively nice, but definitely not as well as he can up close and personal. An evade of 903 also is pretty nice too, as he's going to be pretty consistent with dodging skills or grazing them. And then a mobility of 885 honestly is really, really nice, uh, for mul especially for multi-legs where the average is between 600 and 700 as something that you want to keep an eye on. Across the board, however, he, like I said, he is a little scattered, which does make using him kind of tricky. So as a pure set score, I would have to rate him a pretty solid 6 out of 10, primarily for the sense that using, uh, matching a metal with him with good compatibility is something that's going to be kind of tricky. On one hand, you could build him for a mastery in shooting with a minor in melee, since, me since ailment attacks do not need extra damage, um, or you could build him for melee to capitalize on the extra damage you'll get from freeze after you stop an opponent cold, where you can also benefit from the Bloodstain leg ability. However, like I said, because his kit is rather scattered, Bloodstain is going to be kind of hard to make use of and capitalize on right from start as a pure set. As mixed parts, on the other hand, I do have to rate him a little higher at a 7 out of 10. Given that you can use his parts just about anywhere and very easily and very feasibly uh, without having to really think about or think hard on where you're going to put them or how you're going to use them. The only major weaknesses here being, however, um, is that again, he doesn't have a lot of pierce damage potential, but he doesn't seem to capitalize on that nor care, so that's something you can honestly kind of forego easily. The only other drawback are being that his two main attacks and the main sources of his, of his actual viability are both heavy parts, meaning that you are going to need to make sure when using those parts that you can capitalize on it and make use of it very feasibly and still factor in that heavy limit. 